continue on with our uh, catnip, cat mint, the pitaya, the pita, the pitaya, cataria, and the pita, pasinia. What's this one? The pitaya, the pitaya, the pitaya, the pitaya. Remember the L's sound like Y's and H's. I used some of this yesterday, and uh, it made the inflammation in my uh, my feet go away. The other stuff I used from the garden downtown, which is of the same variety, didn't work as good. This has a stronger taste. The other one is weak and is more minty than this one has more what they call the uh, nepotalactone. Okay? Nepotalactone. That's the chemical that makes it catnippy. Uh, it made the inflammation in my. Uh, from walking 15 miles yesterday, I had bone spurs and made the inflammation in the pain go away. Okay, and the whole idea about this is if you eat this over a period of time, maybe two to three weeks, your body becomes saturated with this chemical that's in this plant. Okay? If you can smell, it's very, uh, well, it's, it's like menthol and evergreen smell. Okay, and they said this is a, a bacterial, antibacterial, which is an insect repellent. So the whole logic is if you eat enough of this stuff, your body becomes saturated with it and it'll start killing off bacteria inside of you. And plus, if you get bit by a mosquito or a tick, you will already be one step ahead of the game. See, you're, you're, you're trying to detoxify yourself plus you're defending yourself. with well, something you're supposed to be doing anyway. This is an herb. Seed-bearing, flowering plant. Supposed to be used for food. Here's my little glean for this morning. Uh, they're in season and they're, like I said, look at the bees. The bees are at it. Okay? So the logic that I have is it takes, you know, three to five weeks of eating this to, for you to build up what we call a, uh, pretty much a level of saturation. So that's what we're going to do. Nepotalactone, remember, that's your buddy.